What's good with it? This your boy Jackson. I'm back with another one, baby. Yeah, man. Uh, this Monique right here, she's on a, a boycott Netflix tour right now. So she's um talking about her problems with Netflix and, you know, basically giving her side of the story. I wanted to grab a video real quick and share it with y'all and, you know, so we can get a better idea of where she's coming from. I'm trying to give her a chance on this boycott. But she's asking for a lot, man. She, she's asking for me to throw away my Netflix. NFL, I could throw that shit away. I don't need no NFL. Netflix, now you now you playing with my entertainment now. But let's go ahead and see what she got to say. It's not like we're not trying. See, we have a movie out there that we executive produced called Blackbird. We have a movie out there that we executive produced called Interwoven. So it's, and, and when, when my brothers and sisters say that to us, we want y'all to understand it ain't like, baby, we ain't there trying to, we ain't out there trying to make it happen. But not, but in, adi but in addition to that, because you, you make a good point, all of those things are what we assume, but what happens is you have to pinpoint where a problem is, because as a prime example, Sister Wanda Sykes, she had a situation with Netflix, the world never knew until Monique spoke up, and now, and then there was two. And then it illuminates the fact that there are no black women who have been paid ever in the history of comedy. Name me one black woman who's got paid a Richard Pryor, a Kevin Hart, a Melissa McCarthy, a Roseanne, a Rosie. Tell me an Ellen DeGeneres. Tell me one black female comedian that has ever gotten that opportunity. And that's the reason why we had to take a stance right now. for forgiveness from Oprah Winfrey, Lee Daines, and Tyler Perry that things would be okay. Ladies and gentlemen all around the world, because we just got a call in from Qatar, Cheryl Underwood is telling a lie. I can't call my sister a liar, but what I will say is she's lying. In that incident. In that incident. I have the proof of the conversation that Cheryl Underwood and I had that it will show that that's not how that conversation went. And if Cheryl Underwood would have said to me, you need to ask for forgiveness, the first thing I would have said to her was, what am I asking for forgiveness for? But when Cheryl Underwood called me, what she said was, Monique, I know you're not lying and I know you are right. And that's when I said, bitch, then why are we here? And that's when she got into a really big hurry. She was catching a flight. I got to get to the airport, got to get to my plane. That sister sat on that stage, and not only did she lie to the world, she lied to the sister sitting there in front of her. And when you have women applauding a lie, that's how we poison our community. Now, it's awfully strange that the sister that everyone is calling so wrong, Steve Harvey, Cheryl Underwood, why won't they have us on the show to look us in our eyes and say, this is what you've done wrong. But what they'll do is be cowardly, and they'll speak it in a segment. They'll get the applause and say, phew, I dodged that goddamn bullet. Because they both know if me and my husband were to come sit face to face with them, it'd be a different kind of story. So we have to, y'all, unite in 
just what's right. We got to do that. And when we look at uh, that, like the conversation that you had with uh, Sister Cheryl, what's disappointing is, again, you're fighting for them to be able to go to a Netflix or go somewhere and get a fair wage. It would be one thing if we would be saying, we just want it for her and Dave shouldn't get it and Chris shouldn't get it and this person shouldn't get it. Why? No, we're saying all of the individuals that receive what they receive, come on now, give them that. Give them to them. All we're saying is when a black woman is involved in a scenario, why can't she get her prize? Why is that difficult? Why is it that, and you, you pointed it out early, why is it not a disruption that Amy Schumer received 13 million or 11 million and it becomes a disruption because she didn't get more, but now Monique should shut up because she asked for more than $500,000. And that's what we've been taught in the history of black women in this country. Black women? I'm sorry. I'm right, baby. Correct me, daddy. People. Come on now. Okay, shit. Okay, I just got a little selfish in my space. Come on. Bring me back. Just people. So, again, and someone put in the room, it's a damn shame Steve Harvey would meet with Donald Trump, but not with our sister. Oh, come on. So, when Ida B. Wells says, call him to the mat, what do y'all call that? And I remember when he came out that meeting with Donald Trump, he said he a good man. That's what he said, he a good man. But you on your radio show saying that this woman is messing it up. And let me say one more thing. And what 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 y'all don't hear is, see y'all again, y'all don't know about Monique going to these schools around the country, mm -hmm. talking to these kids in school that look hopeless. The teachers, they look even more hopeless. So that when she's looking at them, she's got to make this stand right now because she's going and looking in their eye. And if she looks the other way right now, how can she look them in the eye and tell them to stay strong mm. for the opportunities that lie ahead if we're creating a space where there are no opportunities because we're so pleased to be noticed. We're so happy that they acknowledging us. You was kind. You is smart. And you was important. And because of that, we ain't got to pay you no money because y'all take compliments instead. Come on, and some oxtails. And some oxtails. <laughs> Remember them niggas tried to pay me oxtails one time, daddy? We have been having to fight all <laughs> of our lives in the damn early 90s. <laughs> ain't got the money after the show. This ain't no ass. new shit. It ain't new. We so, standing there. Let me tell y'all, I'm going to take y'all all the way back. See, this ain't no new shit got for two this, minutes. Come this on. little fat black girl from Baltimore and this little black boy from Baltimore Come on. in the third fucking grade at Woodmore Elementary School. I I had a teacher named Mr. McKinney. Now, we're in the third grade. How old are you in the third grade? I don't know. You young, right? Six, you about six, seven, okay? I'm in the third grade. We have black children and white children in that third grade class. Mr. McKinney separated the class. He put all the white children on one side and all the black children on another side. He gave all the white children puzzles and coloring books. He told them, y'all go ahead and play. He then came over in front of us and said, I'm going to teach you how to speak correct English. I raised my hand. He called me Monique. For whatever reason, his ass could not say Monique. He said, yes, Monique. I said, Mr. McKinney, it's Monique. He said, well, yes, Monique. I said, why did you separate the class? He said, because I'm going to teach y'all to speak correct English. I said, well, before you do, can I go call my father? Why? He said, why are you going to call your father? I said, because they talk worse than we talk. So something is wrong. Mr. McKinney then said, class, come back together, and we all fucking colored. Now, baby, I don't want y'all to think I'm just no new freedom fighting bitch. Come on. I've been a freedom fighting bitch since freedom fighting, had freedom fighting since freedom fighting. And there it is. Okay. Take us home. I'm going to take us home, Daddy. And I hope that we took y'all home. I hope we took y'all to a place where if you can't make it make sense, stop trying to. And inequality does not make sense. So let's stop trying to make it make sense. 
We want to thank each and every one of y'all, baby, for your ears, your hearts, and your mind, because you could have been listening and doing anything else today. We could have, and I want to just leave you in the last thought of if you support wrong, you will succumb to it. So stop supporting what eventually you'll succumb to. Mm. And before we shut it all the way down, Daddy, I want to dedicate this show to a legend to an icon that the world really never got a chance to know. Joe. That's our brother in comedy, Mr. Joe Recker. Joe Recker, much may, love to you. And may you enjoy your next journey, brother. Rest in peace. Like my daddy always says, the mind is like a parachute. It is no good unless it's open. We love y'all. For free. Mwah. We love y'all, my babies. Thank y'all very much. All right, now, I one thing I don't like about Monique, I don't like this daddy-daddy shit, and I don't like how she be calling people baby. Like, I'm not your baby. Don't call me baby, okay? I'm not your babies, and your husband ain't your daddy. Okay, your father is your daddy, but, hey, that's my thing. Please subscribe, you know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. All right, peace.